What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a really quick look at some of the changes in iOS 10, the fourth beta. So the biggest news with this release is the updated emoji library, which adds over 100 new emojis with many of the existing emojis getting a visual refresh with a new color gradient. The new emojis also include some more family combinations and improved gender diversity. Notable additions also include the rainbow flag in addition to the gun emoji. In fact, the gun emoji is depicted as a water pistol instead of a gun. This is one way of getting around the controversy of adding this specific emoji. The other big news is that they've tweaked the sounds of the keyboard once again. So now we have multiple sounds with different tones. The idea is to communicate a different key press. So for example, the backspace key has a distinctive sound that's all its own, as does the space, return, shift, and number keys. So let's go and take a listen to them. They've also made plenty of other minor tweaks. So for example, the folder animation is now much faster. And if you swipe down to the notification center and swipe right to your widget panel, we now have the clock and date just above it. Incidentally, on the iPad, this is slightly different because it also includes a weather widget, which is kind of nice. Also, if you swipe up on the control center after updating for the first time, you get this splash screen. So once you dismiss this, you're back to your regular control center. Speaking of that control center, if you go back to the home section, you can see that once again, they've redesigned the icons. There are a few weird Weird things going on with the wallpaper. Some of them have been removed and some of the old iOS 8 wallpapers have been restored. So we're not sure exactly where this is going to land in the final release. A feature gone from the third beta is the Taptic Engine vibration when you lock the phone. So that's gone, but you still get the vibration when you mute the phone. And lastly, the most important new change here is that everything seems to be a lot faster. So all the animations and transitions have been sped up. So the devices just feel much smoother and quicker than before. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the fourth beta. Of course, as more betas come out, I'll keep you updated until we see the final release this fall. If you guys wanna see more from iOS 10, I have a complete playlist of all my iOS 10 videos, and I'll leave that linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.